so I uh, <clears throat> got in an argument with the landlord. The other roommate been going on. I don't know. Two or three weeks off and on over dumb stupid shit. I ended up having to uh uproot those two plants and let them die out. And I crumpled them, broke them up, threw them out. <sighs> but the next time I go out side and if I don't see those plants there I know the landlord and the other roommate is desperate for that weed and they just wanted a easy free high I guess <laughs> I don't know, it's just, I'm really trying to be prepared to, uh, have to move out, uh, yeah. It's just it, it fucks me up that they, that they fucking pull this shit. You know what I mean? I know the landlord's daughter, and when I first moved in here, the landlord had me talk to her daughter. And her daughter said if I ever needed help, I, I, I should call her. Oh, but I don't have her number. And I was, the way these two put me through, I... I don't know what else to fucking do. <laughs> What I do know is she was actually trying to be a lifeline for me. And when I asked the landlord for her daughter's number so I can have a lifeline, she, she told me to fuck off. And uh, I looked up the landlord tenant laws. and sent her a screenshot of the laws that she's uh, breaking for being a landlord. After I sent that to her, that, that's when she started to change her attitude towards me. And the other roommate don't give a fuck, really. She, 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 is. she just doesn't. All she cares about is me, 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 and, you know, there's no drinking allowed here, and yet she gets drunk and then, you know, lets her kids watch her be a drunk. I mean, that, that's res life stuff, you know, I mean, 
You can take the res girl out of the res, but you can't take the res out of the res girl. <laughs> You know, they, they had fun bringing up my past just to piss me off, you know, I mean, I, I don't think they pissed me off with that because that's what they initially want a response out of me, just so they can document it, file it, you know, so next time something bad really happens. You know, when they start an argument, they just all I know is I'm glad this door locks from this side. I mean, it also locks from the other side, but. Nah, I'm not the one being unreasonable or... Trying to be a piece of shit. I, I'm not even trying to drink anymore. You know, because... I'm taking... Tylenol and aspirin for my... Pains in my body. You know, being a commercial fisherman and all, you know, all those injuries I got from when I was a teen. And, you know, mixing alcohol with them type of medications isn't good. I mean, I, it, it just, it seriously fucks me up to, you know, be put in an isolated situation again like a like I was forced to be put isolated in the last place I was living. I, I couldn't use the living room. I, I couldn't use the kitchen. Until the landlord was in his bedroom. Here, right? I don't even really get to use the bathroom much anymore. You know, I had to make a makeshift toilet here. You know, and shit in the garbage bag. Yeah, and save up some two liter bottles to piss in. That's the type of isolation I got because I, I'm avoiding all contact with all of them because I don't want to give them a reason to fucking start drama for no fucking reason at all. I, I literally do not know what the fuck to do. I mean, it, it just... <sighs> Fuck. You 
Now I gotta wait for that roommate to take the kids for a walk someday and go out in the backyard and take down my uh, portable greenhouse I bought because it, I did plan on uh, trying to grow vegetables. You know, and, but since it's gotten toxic here lately, I, I don't know how much longer I got here to live in. Uh, I, I don't want them to try and get me kicked out before I can get my greenhouse taken down and put it up for sale online somewhere because the next place I may move to won't have a big enough yard for it. And the landlord doesn't have enough money to even pay for half of what that portable greenhouse costs. I mean, I, I really wanted to get into my green thumb knowledge. But, you know, they fucking love drama. They fucking love drama. I, I literally don't know what else to fucking do. I mean, it, it was like they... All the shit I moved around in here... I mean, it was like, I, I should have just moved in and only paid rent and not fucked with any of this shit that was in here. Because yeah, it, it was like, uh, after I got certain shit done, that's when they started in. And it was like... They just wanted me here for certain things and then just want want me to fuck up now. The one thing I'm wondering is if uh, our kids call all the guys, dads, that come here to visit. I mean, it's none of my business what she do, but, you know, I mean, them kids are going to be scarred for life, you know. Seeing multiple men come in and out of here. Well, I was thinking about uh, moving some of this stuff back into this room that I'm staying in. You know, just so the uh, can't really uh, use in, use this room or whatever until they actually uh, move it all out. I 
I mean, if I'd been able to actually contact her daughter during the whole time that they were starting drama, I probably would have handled the situation a lot better. But since I'm being isolated again, it... I, I can't even get in contact with my uncle who has got some type of religious belief. He's a pastor of some sort, you know. I, I mean, I, I can't talk to my dad right now because he's in my home village getting ready to start a commercial fishing. I, I I don't know who else to talk to. Uh, it, I even tried the fucking crisis line, and they're like, "Oh, sir, um, we don't help you guys. We we only help females." I I, I just wanted to talk to somebody, you know about. You know, how they're deteriorating my mental status. And yet the landlord and this roommate, you know, they have lifelines to talk to. I, here I am stuck having to make videos about my isolation. I, I just hope you younger men learn from us older men of our situations, of what we've already been through. And you don't make the same mistakes we did. You know, my my mom even told me to grow up, you know, and then when I asked for support, you know, other lifelines, she wouldn't give me my uncle's number. She wouldn't give me my cousin's number. How the fuck am I supposed to grow up if I have no outside support? I mean, my sobriety here has already been sabotaged once. I mean, I, I lost a shit ton of trust over that shit. I, 
I, I, I reported to the landlord about it, and the landlord was trying to kick me out. You know, I was like, I'm not the one who's trying to drink here. It's the other roommate, and landlord was still trying to kick me out. I mean, I, I don't fucking understand that fucking logic. No drinking allowed here, and yet the roommate downstairs is drinking. I, I, I told the landlord, I said, well, if you're not going to kick me out, don't try to borrow money from me because... I know it's either because you need beer money or the roommate needs beer money. The owner, the landlord's house rule is no drinking in the house. I mean, I, I'm perfectly fine with, you know, getting a room for the night or just toughing it out in the cold somewhere. If I want to drink, but you know, I don't want to drink no more. I Man, I miss drinking, but it, you know, it, it's a choice I made. Man, I made the choice of not drinking anymore even even before I moved here. Moved here, god damn that shit. Oh, fuck. No, I, I can't even, uh, buy refrigerated groceries. I can't buy frozen foods because I, I simply don't trust the roommate downstairs to... No, it just is. I mean, the only thing I can buy is, you know, already. pizza to be delivered or I already cooked food from a supermarket somewhere I have to buy it and bottled water so uh, bottled juice I It, 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 that shit reminds me of fucking being in jail, you know? Having to only eat dry foods. I, I don't know what else to fucking do. Yeah, it fucking sucks that they tore my trust away like that.
I mean, if, I, if her daughter knew what was going on here, I, she probably would, uh, help me uh, get out of here without uh, having to ask the landlord for a ride to uh, the closest greyhound. I mean, it was her daughter who also was wanting me to help, you know, get get the landlord moved back up closer to her. I don't know what else to fucking do. <laughs> I mean, actions speak louder than words, and my actions for how long I've already been here, you know, cleaning up as best as I could with my injuries. You know, and all they've been doing is starting drama. Trying to cause me to flip out just so they can play victim. I, I went from the last place, as bad as it was, you know, I, I went from taking a daily shower to being able to at least shower once a week. This shit really fucking sucks. I, I literally don't know what else to fucking do. I mean, I wish I did not have to make videos to upload online as a way to deal with my isolated stress. Everyone else who lives here has someone else to fucking talk to. I don't. They get to relieve their stress by being able to talk to someone else and I'm here having to fucking bottle it up. I'm slowly fucking losing it because of that. 